A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone. I welcome you to another episode of Alpha. I am Joy Bailey. Before I go into the summary of this week's lesson, please pray with me. Heavenly Father, again we are so thankful for the opportunity to dwell to delve in your words. We recognize, Lord, that without your words we would be in darkness. So we ask, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will enlighten our darkness and that we will receive of your words and leave them out in Jesus' name. Amen. Last week, we looked at how God was intentional when he entered into a covenant relationship with three of the patriarchs. This week, we look in depth at the three different times he conveyed his covenant with Abraham. God identified himself in a personal way to Abraham as Yahweh, the Lord, in Genesis 15, verse 7. Abraham accepts that the management of his life was God's business, and so should we. Then in Genesis 17, verses 1 and 2, he appeared to Abraham as El Shaddai, or God Almighty. Shaddai in the Hebrew denotes breast which gives us the idea of someone who supplies, nourishes, and who satisfies. When you combine it with El, it portrays the notion of a mighty and powerful one who can supply and nourish. Thus Abraham was brought into covenant with the Almighty, and his part in the bargain was to walk before him and be perfect. When we come in contact with El Shaddai, we should walk with a perfect heart and bless his name for he satisfies our mouths with good things. Psalm 103 verse 5. Next we see another God change. Next we see God changing Abraham's name from Abraham to Abraham. And you might have wondered why the change? Because Abraham was a good name with a good meaning. But when we come in contact with God, no matter how good we think we are, there has to be a change. Change of character, disposition, inclination, and ambition, even a change of name. Abraham's status was about to be changed. He was now picked to be the father of many nations and needed a name to depict such a change. I pause to point out that in this covenant with Abraham and his descendants, the entire world was and is included. I will make thee a father of many nations. Paul reiterated this when he declared in Galatians 3 verse 29, If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and hears according to the promise. So you see, the meaning of the name Abraham underscore God's desire and design to save all peoples. Thank God I'm included, and so are you. But we have an obligation. The blessings of the covenant can only be enjoyed when the conditions are met. Obedience is the condition for the enjoyment of the covenant. When we are disobedient, we break our end of the covenant by being unfaithful to the established relationship. Here is something to consider. When the covenant is broken, what is broken is not the condition of the bestowal, but the condition of fulfillment. Here is one takeaway from this week's lesson that I want to leave with you. Coming in contact with God results in change. Our new life calls for a change of name, and that name is already written down in glory. If you have not yet entered into that covenant relationship with God, or you have stepped away, won't you come back into that relationship with Him and receive your new name? And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for being the covenant-keeping and making God that you are. As we come into connection with you, we ask that you will change us from the inside out so that we will represent who you, who you are and who you want us to be. May we be cognizant of the fact that one day 
we will have a new name in glory. And we're looking forward to that day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today on this episode of Alpha. Won't you join us again tomorrow for another episode? Thank you. Be blessed. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.